Good afternoon. You know, right, how tough is this to be standing here on five and <clears throat> having to fire a coach and a GM? Yeah, it's tough. Um, you know, it's you know, Chris has given me a great opportunity to come here to Edmonton and and, and work and learn under him. But um, you know, we we are where where we are, and it's time to you know, you know, try to try to turn this thing around. Um, you know, just and sitting here after Rick made a decision, I looked at the roster, I looked at um, the staff, and there isn't a lot that needs to be changed. Um, there's, there will be a few few tweaks, but for right now, um, you know, we're we're going to move forward and try to get our first win. Did you what kind of things can a new GM coming in week six do to try to steer the ship in the right direction? From your experience in this league, where you've seen crazy comebacks. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was a part of of a, of a you know crazy turnaround in in in, uh, in the past. So um, I, I feel confident in our roster. I feel confident in Jarius and the, and the staff that we have. Um, so I'm just looking forward to um, you know getting the opportunity to you know to go out and play another game. And and like I said, we're we're going to do everything in our power to uh, to get our first win and, and get this thing going in the right direction. You've been a part of the management team, obviously. What can you say about the guys you have on the roster? Because from the outside looking in, there's some pretty talented ballers on. Yeah, we we have a talented roster. I mean, you know, I, I think um, we have the guys in the room, um, and you know, guys are positive. They're they're you know, we we. We set out on what we accomplished in, in getting bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, now we got to play a little bit smarter and um, you know find find a way to win at the end of games. Anything else for G. Roy? Uh, I would ask what you think of Jerry as a coach. Uh, he's one, you know, the <laughs> I mean, I've known Jerry for over 20 years now. He's he was my roommate in BC. Um, all the years that we played together, I'm, I have the to total uh, utmost confidence in what he can bring to um, to this club as a head coach, and um, I'm I'm very confident in, in what he does as as a, not only a play caller but as a person and and, and as a leader. Day to day work in tight sort of Steve. Just work really tight on personnel decisions, play plays, and stuff like that. Is that kind of the relationship? Well, I won't have any 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 input on play calling, but I will on personnel and, and we'll work together. Is there, is there any deadline set for a permanent head coach? No, we're, we're just going to try to win this week. Do you know, in terms of the coaching staff, is the coaching staff they have in place right now going to be the coaching staff for the rest of the year? Like, are you going to look to bring in anybody else? Like yeah, we'll see where we're at. I, th I think uh, right now it's a short week. We got to prepare for Ottawa. We get we, we travel in a few days, so uh, right now we're gonna we're gonna stay status quo. But you know, I'm, I'm sure there will be some tweaks moving forward. But nothing. There won't be any wholesale changes.